The given image shows the view of a Michigan restaurant's outer area. Few people can be seen sitting and enjoying their food. It is one of the most famous restaurants in the world. One couple can be seen engrossed in their talks while enjoying their food. An attendant can be seen conversing with two ladies and a man. On their table, a bottle of champagne can be seen along with files, phones and a headphone. The two ladies can be seen along with a kid on the other corner. Child's cradle can be seen near to them. They are laughing at other people's conversation. One table is a vacant and beautiful view of the inside restaurant can be seen through the glass. From 1994 to 2004, the graph below shows data on energy generation in China by kind. It steadily grew from 600 in 1994 to 1500 in 2004 for conventional thermal. When we look at the hydropower, we can see that it was quite constant at roughly 100 during the time span. It has risen rapidly for the entire generation between the years of 900 and 2000, and from 1994 to 2004. To summarize, conventional thermal still accounts for the majority of China's energy generation. In 2016, a bar graph shows the percentage of people who were unemployed and the amount of money they earned based on their educational attainment. Only 1.6% of those with PhD or professional degrees are employed. People with doctoral degrees and those with professional degrees had the greatest median weekly wages, at $1,664 and $1,745, respectively. The unemployment rate for those with less than a high school level is 7.4%, the highest in the country. Despite this, they have the lowest average annual incomes of $504. Doctoral and professional degree holders had the lowest unemployment rates and the highest median weekly wages. In contrast, those with a high school education or less are the most likely to be unemployed and receive the lowest median wage.
the graph illustrates the percentage of women and men of a certain age. As seen on the graph, females between ages 1 and 15 account for about 15.5% of the total population. According to the graph, the least percentage of males aged 85 and more is approximately 0.8%, which is clearly visible. If we look at females, we can clearly see that roughly 0.4% of those aged 85 and over are females. In conclusion, this graph is valuable. Arousal level and performance level are seen in this graph. The graph shows that when we look at challenging activities, we observe lower arousal levels and greater performance levels, while we see higher arousal levels and lower performance levels when we look at easy tasks. It is possible to see increased arousal and better performance for simple activities. It is also possible to observe arousal and performance that are lower for more difficult jobs. It's easy to identify the hardest chores but there's also a blue line to guide us. There is a red line that indicates difficult assignments. Finally, this graph depicts the association between arousal level and performance level when undertaking challenging and simple activities. The internet population is depicted graphically in this figure. According to the graph, China has the highest number, which is around 175 people. The graph shows that the United States has the second highest number, at about 165. It is plain to observe that Mexico and the Netherlands have the fewest amount, which is approximately 15. As a result, China's internet population dwarfs that of the United States. More people in the United States are online than in Mexico or the Netherlands.
These activities are shown graphically in the bar chart, which indicates how many men and women participate in each. Most popular among women were languages, 40 participants, followed by sculpting, 9 participants, 5 people. Sculpture was the least popular pastime for males, with 30 persons participating in the activity, 5 people. For both sexes, language was the most popular pastime, but art was the most popular among males. Men and women both rated sculpture as their least favorite pastime activity. graphic depicts a complicated anaerobic digestion flow chart. Anaerobic creatures are those that cannot exist without oxygen. The graphic begins at the top with the waste feed material node, which is where storage and any pretreatment takes place. Following that is the digester, from which it breaks into two biogas or separator. Biogas is progressing in biogas storage vessels where it may be utilized as a fuel in cars, turbines or generators, and gas burners or boilers. The separator step is followed by liquor storage and fiber. According to the wording, the liquor might be sold depending on the location. Overall, it appears to be a pretty difficult procedure. The graphic depicts data about the world's most widely spoken languages. If we look at the approximate number of native speakers in the year 2000, we can see that the biggest number of Madarin Chinese speakers, which is 874 million, is evident from the graph. The Bengali language has the fewest speakers, with roughly 200 million. It is obvious from the graph that English has the most native speakers among nations with considerable populations of speakers, with 104. The lowest number in any language is 9 in Bengali. Finally, this graph provides data about the languages of the world.
the graph below depicts the creation of water channels and how they can be produced. We can see a meander in the first photo, and there are many trees along the meander. There is also a neck in the middle of the meander. However, when we move to the next stage, the sand becomes deposited in the river and eventually, it becomes silt around the river neck. Thus there is a new channel has created, and a new oxbow lake has begun to flow in this direction. To summarize, water and sand pressures are required to sculpt the channels of the oxbow lake. This graph illustrates the relative proportions of several economic sectors in San Diego County, California, as well as the rest of the world. With a 60% share of San Diego County's total population, the residential sector is followed by industries, 23%, and agricultural, 17%. In California, the residential sector still accounts for 39% of total employment, while agricultural only accounts for 28%. Agriculture, on the other hand, accounts for 69% of all land use in the globe. As a result, the data in this graph is noteworthy. The bar chart shows the Olympic medals won in 12 countries. The USA won the most medals at around 2, 250, followed by the Soviet Union at 1,000. The lowest number of medals was won by China and Japan at just below 500 medals each. Overall, the USA won the most medals while China won the least.
the graph depicts the product life cycle for sales through time, as seen by the data points. The graph clearly shows that there is a significant rise from intro to growth. From growth to maturity, the graph shows that there is an increase. The graph shows that from maturity to decline, there is a drop in the rate of change. In the end, the most people may be found in their late 20s and 30s. In this picture, few people are exercising as a team. They are doing exercise in a gym as we can see other equipment used in a gymnasium. Exercise balls can be seen at the back. Team exercising is very beneficial as compared to exercising alone. Three of them seem to be very enthusiastic about particular exercise. Third person from the left seems to be less energetic and happy. Group exercise gives motivation. Group exercise classes are a great way of meeting new people whilst also staying healthy. Australia's biggest cities are depicted on this map. Darwin, Cairns, and Tosenville are some of the northern cities in Australia. South Australia has three major cities, Adelaide, Melbourne, Perth. Located on Tasmania's island, Hobart is the state's southernmost metropolis. Australian territory is bordered by three other oceans, the Indian, Great Australian Bight, and Coral Sea. A wide range of large cities may be found throughout Australia. As you can see on this map, there is a lot of garbage soup across the planet. To the east of Japan, 
the eastern rubbish patch is located, while to the east of Hawaii, lies the western garbage patch. Translucent sludge of deteriorating plastic debris composes these rubbish swaths. The North Pacific Gyre Current is responsible for keeping this soup in motion. The map's title, Out of Sight, Out of Mind suggests that these places of garbage soup are not well known. The pie charts depict the main reasons why individuals arrived to and left the United Kingdom in 2007. The graph clearly shows that job was the most important factor in this decision. A certain job accounted for 30% of immigration to the UK, while the percentage was nearly same for emigration, accounting for 29%. A high percentage of persons, 22%, emigrated because they were seeking for work. Another prominent factor driving a relocation to the UK was formal study, which accounted for over a quarter of all immigrants. Despite the fact that a large number of persons, 32%, reported other or no reasons for emigrating, this only accounted for 17% of all immigration. Compared to 2009, which had the lowest average temperature of any of the years shown, 2015 saw an increase in average temperature of 85 degrees Celsius over the previous year. Overall, 2015 was the hottest year on record, with each of the 12 months breaking previous records for heat.
subprime mortgage originations and house ownership rates in the United States are shown in this graph, which spans the years 1997 to 2007. Subprime share is depicted by blue bars on the graph, with the lowest point in 1999 at 5% and the highest one in 2006 at roughly 20%. A line graph depicts the percentage of people who own their own house. Starting in 1997, the percentage rises to 65.5%, and it reaches its peak in 2004 at 69%. Finally, the data in this graph shows how house ownership and subprime lending have changed in the United States. From the 21st to the 27th of April, the precipitation totals in Haiti and the Western Dominican Republic were shown on a line graph in millimeter forward slash H. Until the 23rd of April, there has been no accumulation of rain. This rose throughout time, peaking on the 27th of April at 400 millimeter forward slash H for the maximum and an average of 100 millimeter forward slash H for the average. It was only on the 24th of April that the greatest total rainfall intensity reached at roughly 30 mm forward slash H. On the 25th of April or 26, the average total rainfall intensity peaked at roughly 5 mm forward slash H. As a whole, the amount of rain fell steadily rose. While the average rainfall total remained modest, the maximum rainfall intensity varied.